Okay, so I, I'm making this tutorial for those of us who want to install this modification. So hopefully it'll be a quick, short tutorial. Probably won't be speaking too much through it because I'm not that great at speaking. But the problem is um, people obviously can't install this mod anymore because the data folder no longer exists in the whole file structure of the game has been changed. Um, I actually wrote a comment below what I was thinking may be possible and then I went and had a look and found that it was possible so I will show you how to do this. I'll probably even upload the folders that I've edited so you can grab them there if you just want to install the units instead of the terrain as well. So here we go. First, you're going to want to download a couple of applications. This here is a DRS um, resource builder and extractor. So we're going to use that to extract the um, files we want from the DRS because they're no longer packed. And then we're going to use this bulk rename utility. And you'll see why we need that in a short while. And I'll put these links in the description of the video. Okay, so once you have both those downloaded, just go to your first folder, which will be a zip. It'll be the um, DRS builder or extractor. Um, I'll extract it here or extract to here. Uh, what's this copy in the other place? Uh, okay, I've already extracted it onto my desktop over there. Anyway, so you'll extract you once you've extracted it. You'll you'll have this folder here like this. You will have only uh, these two, four sorry, these four folders. Um, and we'll only need this one. So what you want to do is you just go down properties. Oh, sorry, not properties. Uh, you want to go down to uh, create shortcut. And then you're going to want to go to properties and that, and you're going to get the target here and copy this here, uh, this here into it. Where are we? So you want to put that there. So it's command slash k quotation marks and then at the end of quotation marks again I think once you press apply you'll notice it changes so it goes it's changed from just the C or whatever it was yeah CMG it's changed to C Windows System 32 so it's applied and you press OK see uh, the reason we do this is if you double click on that it'll just go and disappear whereas now the shortcut will hold it up and we'll be running the program which will allow us to do the next part so I'm assuming that you've downloaded the mod as well um, so you will have oh, to get the files should have got those out already I have a lot of files Alright, so this is the um, reskin folders. Um, I'm not going to use the Cliffs of Terrain, there's a mod on, on Steam Workshop that already does that for me, so I'm just going to get these two here. I'll put them both in here in the um, other folder we had earlier. Now what you want to type in is DRS build slash E because we're going to extract them and then the file name because they're in the exact same directory as the launcher we don't have to put a folder directory we can just put the file and the file type so we'll do graphics for now dot DRS and just press enter and it's going to extract them all there's, although it's up to 5,000, I think it skips a bunch of numbers, so you'll, I think there's only a 1,000 or so in there, 
we can exit that for now and then you're going to want to install the um, what's it called? bulk rename utility and launch that it should look like this unless it's updated since this tutorial has been made um, and you're going to want to locate those folders Nope. On my desktop. Um. There we go. All right. So you want to grab all of these, and this application is quite cool. Only I only download this stuff just to get the mod working myself. So you want to go to remove and you want to remove characters which will remove the letters and you can see here what the new name is going to be but we only want the um, we don't want any of these zeros so we could remove zeros as well but the problem is it's going to remove ones with zeros in their last path too and I'm sure there is a way to specify to leave those zeros and take those ones away but for this tutorial we'll just rename those so we get rid of all the letters from GRA from graphics and then this has got four zeros on it and it's got four 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 all right and this here I think is this one here one two three four yeah so your first four letters I'll rename those successful then we'll go here, scroll all the way down. Oh wait. So th then it goes down to here. Alright, and then we change that to three. And you'll see the new name. We'll rename those. These have only got two and this goes for quite a while. Oh. Alright here. So we're looking at the zeros, there's only two, so we change this to two. And you can see the new name again, rename, okay, okay. And then obviously these ones just have one zero all the way down. And we don't want anything else, although I don't know that would matter too much, except for characters. And we'll change that to one, and you then can rename that. And that would otherwise take a long time oh good um, so then you'll notice in your folder here all the files are now exactly what they need to be and if you go to your Age of Empires main directory in Steam you can lo lo uh, find the directory not that one resources common and then DRS and I'm assuming this was used to be packed but it's now just in folder categories you won't have the copy here you'll just have graphics and interface um, I made a backup copy so that's why there's a copy here it won't read those because they're named differently so this is what it'll be reading and now you'll see the exact same well actually this one here is not named correctly I was wondering about that if it's not named correctly, you'll just um, it won't replace it. So this is the original file here. So I have to delete that. Yes, and let's see, this is another original folder. These two I missed earlier. I was actually thinking that. Um, so you won't have this problem. You'll just if you do what I said earlier, and don't miss them like me you will then be able to go to your folder where you've just um, changed all these names your one with the shortcut and all that and you just highlight those it starts at 2 just copy and you can um, drag them into Age of Empires Resources Common DRS and paste and it'll just say um, copy and replace there's only 1700 not 5,000 or whatever the last number is. I've already done that so I don't really need to do that. 
unless that just corrupted them, but hopefully not. Um, Alright, so once you've done that, you can delete all these, and it's practically the same thing, so I'll just, I was going to press X, I've been using Blender too much. Alright, so we don't need graphics anymore, and so you, same thing with the interface, you would type in DRS, actually I can just use it, oh, I can't remember. Build slash e um, interface doesn't have the e as far as I'm aware. No. Um, and you just enter. Again, it um, creates them with int, and then these ones actually only have to have the int removed because they don't have zeros ahead of them to fill it out. So they only need int removed. And you can just go back to this folder. If I refresh it, so then scroll all the way down, shift click if um, you didn't know that. And we won't remove any letters. Oh, no, sorry, any numbers. Um, but we do want to remove characters, so this will already be done now. And then rename, okay. Okay, 397. So yeah, obviously naming those, renaming those one by one by deleting the int on every single one would be a pain. You know, make sure you click on it, rename, blah blah blah. Anyway, so that's done, and you again just highlight them all, copy. Uh, we'll go to interface and then paste, and there are, I've again already done this earlier. And it'll just replace those folders. Um, okay, so there's terrain and sounds. I'm assuming terrain. Again, it's all um, exactly the same with the other two folders with the cliffs here. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so these are all these are all SLPs anyway, so you don't actually need to change those. They're PNG files, I don't exactly know. Maybe these just go straight in your mod folder. So really it's just risk in mod exactly how I done I showed you, done showed you. Um and that's it. The mod works. <laughs> you have to trust me. Basically we what we've done is we've just um reformatted them I guess so that it's not packed anymore. Like the um new format of Age of Empires. So, I hope that's not too confusing for you, and I hope to get this video up as soon as I can.